Can we talk about my coffee mug? How cool is this coffee mug? Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee. Whoa, whoops. Coffee and conversation, yay! I'm excited. Okay, temperature's all right this week. Good, good. I made it kind of strong, geez. So, my lovely, lovely friend, Elizabeth Henson, last week suggested that we talk about coffee, or she asked me what I put in my coffee. So I thought I would make a coffee and conversation dedicated to coffee and what the lovely people and my friends on Tumblr like to put on their coffee, on their coffee, in their coffee. <laughs> Today's hair is brought to you by, um, uh, what the hell? Because I don't know what the hell it's doing. <laughs> okay, so I put a post on Tumblr earlier or last week and asked people what they put in their coffee, and I got so many awesome responses. Like, this is how many people gave me an answer. And that was so cool. But today I'm going to pick out a couple that I thought were super interesting and different and I'm going to talk about them. The coolest answer that I think I got and I never thought of before, um, and it came from, and these are not the hammer, is the blog name. She's awesome. She had a couple of answers. Um, where she lives, it's hard to find um, sugar-free sweeteners. And so she will add cocoa powder or cinnamon. But then she sent me another answer and she said that she's recently started using a vanilla, like French vanilla protein powder. And I was like, that's super cool. And she said it doesn't affect the consistency. It like blends right up into it. It makes it nice. So she'll put a uh, heavy cream and vanilla protein powder. I thought that was super neat. So if you're looking for extra protein in your life, maybe you should start doing that with your coffee. So that was super cool. A lot of my keto friends um, use heavy cream as, and so do I. Um, it's a nice way to get those fats in when you're on keto. Um, but I opened it up to everyone. I didn't want just keto people to answer because I want everyone to talk about their coffee. If I butcher your blog name, don't hurt me. Super Saiyan Cat. Um, she uses, she fixes her coffee um, a double-double. It's the Canadian way, apparently, and I didn't know that, so that's cool. My friend Imrasina, and again, if I mispronounced that, I'm so, so sorry. Um, she puts sugar and milk in regular drip coffee. I mean, that seems like the most legit, old-fashioned, awesome way to make your coffee. People have been doing that forever. So, go you, fantastic. That's a great way to drink it. Oh, my friend from Smallville to Superman, she doesn't even have coffee in the morning. She makes a hot chocolate. Dia de los Fuertos. I think I'm actually saying that one correctly. Um, but she uses sugar-free coffee syrups, um, hazelnut, caramel, or vanilla, yum yum, and heavy cream and a spoonful of coconut oil. Oh, Lady Loves Lifts. She does hers pretty much the same way I do. She does the coconut oil, the butter, the heavy cream, and then, but she uses the sugar-free Tarani syrup. Marvelous Auntie Mavis, which I'm pretty sure is my Aunt Mavis, and I love her, and I adore her, and I am so glad she answered this question. Um, but she puts a scoop of no sugar added Nestle's Quick to make a Jamocha. Cool. Or she has a powdered hazelnut. Um, that's awesome. Very cool. Love you, Aunt Mavis. And Fat Girl Gets Fit at Last, um, who is also fantastic and wonderful. Um, she uses, she says she uses almond milk and no water and heavy cream with coconut oil. Huh, interesting. And she puts cocoa powder in. So yeah, yummy mocha flavor, that's awesome. Oh, Kay Say, she does vanilla protein powder as well. Cool beans, everybody's doing vanilla protein powder. Maybe I need to try this. I really appreciated everyone's input. That was the coolest thing. I was like, okay, maybe like five people will tell me how they like their coffee. But like people that I've never even seen on Tumblr or don't follow or like awesome people, like someone would reblog it and somebody else would answer. And it was really cool. So Target is closing. There's not gonna be a Target anymore in Canada. And I'm very, very, very upset about this because that was another place I would go if I was feeling homesick. I would go into Target because Target's the same everywhere and it just kind of made me feel a little bit better sometimes. And 
it's going away and I don't know what to do. And I don't know where we're gonna buy our fancy sparkling water from anymore because I can't find it anywhere else here. Maybe at Whole Foods. We haven't looked there yet. So anyway, now I'm just rambling. That has nothing to do with coffee, except for the fact that I'm drinking it. I'm just talking about random stuff. Focus. I'm gonna start posting coffee and conversation videos every Tuesday and do a keto test kitchen every Thursday. That is my goal, that is the schedule. I'm gonna try really, really hard to stick with it. So if you have a topic you'd like to suggest for coffee and conversation, let me know. Either send me a message on Tumblr or send me a message, comment below, that would be fantastic. If you liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would super appreciate it. And if you really, really liked it and you wanna see more stuff and you wanna get notifications about when I post new things, subscribe, that would be super duper cool. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Enjoy your coffee, whatever you put in it. Coffee is the most wonderful and versatile thing and you can make it whatever you want. And that's why it's so cool. Or if you don't drink coffee, that's awesome too. Everybody's got their thing they like. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.